scar, so I have a new one for how long have you been playing? Uh, six years. Six years. Yeah. Right. So you started when you were young. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. This is a really good piece. Do you like this sour band? Yeah. Not too slow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna help you on that anyway. If it is too slow, I'm gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's one of my favorite pieces. I learned it probably when I was your age too. Mm -hmm. So Saraband and a, from the A minor Bach Partita. It's our only solo piece by J.S. Bach that we have for the flute. you keep going because I know you can do the next I've bit. Never well why don't you play it with me? <laughs> <laughs> you play it really you have a beautiful don't you have beautiful sound? I wonder are you are you also a sports person? Um I played hockey. Yeah well you got some good air control there. Okay, go on. Go on. Um, Try it. Because you have a musical understanding of it. And I bet you're gonna surprise yourself. And this is a good thing for you to do. Don't worry if you make mistakes, but I don't think you will. I don't think you I I, I know what you're gonna do. So go ahead. Go on. Da da dee da dee da. Try not to be breathe on the bar line. What I'm doing here now is I'm teaching you the sight read at the same mm -hmm. time. You've already got this bit of the piece. So and this is a little challenge you should do in your own practice room also mm -hmm. because uh, you play so well and your embouchure moves so nicely that you, so now, but this is also has a different way um, of understanding it, which we're gonna get into um, so that you can hear the harmony. But try it once more. You see the way, here, here's the way to t tell. You see the way that the line goes with the slurs? Yeah. So that's one line. Mm -hmm. And then this guy goes to there. Because a high note has to go somewhere. It wouldn't go da 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 That should not be there. That breath mm -hmm. note should not be there. Okay? Go ahead. Uh, Trust yourself. I know you can do this. Da da di da 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 ready. Play. because it's the same as the beginning.
abulation. Do you know that word? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's a big word. So ABA it is. So you have forms in music. You have your first section. Then you have your development section. That's when it gets all black. Yeah. And it starts putting all those flats and sharps and mm -hmm. all those things, and you start going, oh, no. You know, uh, that's that's where your understanding of harmony and your scales and everything comes in. And then it always normally brings you back to the beginning, mm -hmm. which is what happened here, except that he introduced a couple of different changes here for you, right? Yeah. That's an E instead of an A. And so what he's doing is he's changing the key on you. So let me explain to the to the group here, not to you necessarily, but maybe you don't know. So solo pieces, we have to, when we're playing them, which she did very nicely, and that I'm sure your teacher has taught you, is we have to find out uh, the shape of them musically, but the harmony that's in them. So what she did here is that she took a little time on the first note, and this is really important because this is what we call like the, the it's the bass, it's the, it's the chordal, it's a, Wa da -dee da 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 you see it's a song we love the saraband because it's so musical isn't mm -hmm. it and you're very musical Thank you. and absolutely beautiful and i love your dynamics we're going to do even more and when i'd like to hear you really as you go over the top mm -hmm. to open that throat and to really sing and to find out inside in the cavity of your mouth it's not just as we say you teach them i say open your throat open your throat and you're trying and you can't do it what happens is also with our breathing is um, as flute players, my husband started right away talking about breathing in mm -hmm. the class. And as flute players, we breathe like we breathe. But if I was going to push you in a swimming pool, I bet you would take a deep breath. Yeah. And it would go way down mm -hmm. here. But when we play the flute, we breathe a lot up here. And what happens is as we go to our high notes, we start closing our throats to hold our high notes which is why you might find that you're trying to get a nice high note and it's just not really working. Or that when you your lips get tired, right? Or does anybody play piccolo? I've, I played a little bit. You played a little piccolo and your lips get tired, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. Because you see you're way, way up, it's called in the, the harmonics. And so what, what we have to learn is that this thing here, it's like a, think of it like a tube, all right? And it's a balloon, really. And when we, we fill that up, and if you can learn to fill that up and to hold the air there, even as you're playing. So basically what's happening is that you're you're blowing your air, but your muscle here, is, which is why I had you hold that there. You felt that, right? That the muscle is holding that air so we don't let it out at one time, but also we don't start using this to, to, mm -hmm. to close it. And so that if you so if you can practice and maybe we'll do ha, have some time to do a little bit of with tone exercises to learn to breathe i like to think sometimes for me breathing into the back and holding it see if we were going to do this exercise we got our water pond up here and uh, put your hand on your back like i'm doing okay everybody do that if you can without dropping your boots put your hands here into your back, okay? And what we're gonna do, you and I are gonna do this together, we're gonna exhale real fast, so we're all gonna go like that, and then we're gonna take an inhale, and you wanna feel the cold air coming in the back of the throat, and you'll feel your back expand. So let's all exhale, go all the way, go all the way. Now inhale. You feel the back, but not here, not here, okay? And this is what happens to young teenage girls, too. I'm telling you. We have a harder problem than men because we we talk higher. Mm -hmm. Our vocal cavities are higher, and everything is higher, you know? And we're all about getting dressed and jewelry and all that stuff, so we're always thinking visually here. And this is true. I never thought about this stuff, especially when I was your age. Um, I didn't have a teacher who showed me either. But so can I do this? Yeah. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. All right. You sure now? You're going to have to stand forward. And you're going to have to put that left foot forward. And you're going to, even more, even more. See, because you have heels, mm -hmm. I want you to think about leaning on the ball of your foot. You feel how that supports yeah. you? Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, you feel better, don't yeah. you? Because as soon as you put your arms up, it's going to throw you off, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Which is why when you get older, you're going to start playing like all those other flute players who <laughs> make circles. Yeah. And then it's going to be bouncing all over. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say, well, why am I losing my sound? <laughs> you know, it, it's, I didn't know this. I didn't know that I did this. 
And one time the student said to me, my husband said, um, you can relax a second, and then we'll get back to the breathing. My husband said to me in a class, he says, I don't know what to do about the girls. We had these two girls in our class, jo Jane and Jessica, and they came when they were probably about your age, and all of a sudden now they're 20 something, or maybe they were 19, and uh, they came back when we had this school in Switzerland every summer, you're all welcome. Just get someone to buy you a ticket and you'll be on your way. <laughs> no, it's a great it's a great thing. You should look at it online, the Go Away Flute Festival. Make it your dream. Uh, no, it's 10 days with us. It's great. So anyway, um, so Jane and Jessica came back and they're moving all over the place. And my husband doesn't like moving. And so he said to me, I don't know what to do with the girls. I said, leave it to me. So the girls will leave. I said, girls, stop. I said, you got to stop moving. <laughs> and no, I, I t said it nicely because they know me very well and I know them. And then they talked to me. And then just before they're leaving the course, they said, Hey, Nicole, can we talk to you? I said, Sure. So I said to them, I said, Hey, go away. We're young. And I went, Yes. And they said, And you know, and I knew what they were saying. They were saying to me, Well, Lady Cole, we're, we're young. We have feelings. We have emotions. You're old. You know? and, uh, they didn't say it that way, but it was just when I heard this, we're young. I knew exactly what they were thinking, because also I know these girls very well. But, and I understood that, because I remember this. So when you have a student, or when you, and I'm only telling you this, because as you develop as a musician, what we don't learn as flute players, but yet a violinist will learn, mm -hmm is you will learn that you must stick to the core, stick to the principles of playing, and you are going to improve and skyrocket up, mm -hmm. I can tell you. These little things that get in the way, what happens is, as I mentioned it before, as we get more comfortable, you might start rolling in, your teacher's gonna say, roll your flute out, and then you're playing like this, and you feel it's all over that. Mm -hmm. It's not that, what happens is, the body gets more comfortable holding the instrument. It becomes your best friend. And so we start pulling it back. I notice it myself. I have to watch myself in the mirror a lot. <laughs> I notice that sometimes I'm playing like this and I go, jeez, you know? Because I know if I hold my flute out and I, you see, if I open up here, I get, I'm like a singer. I give my vocal, I, I open up here. I breathe down here and then this is open. And the high notes, the support from the high notes are coming here. Mm -hmm. This is open, and you know what happens? You start getting this ring in your sound mm -hmm. that will take you away. It's like, oh, that's what I've been looking for. Mm -hmm. And and lots of times, people who are moving a lot are trying to find something, or we go through phases where we say, no, this isn't working, this flute, I need this, I need that. Because you're searching for something within your playing. You're searching for that sound, your sound, and you want your sound. And remember the other thing, too, is that when you think you don't sound good on a bad day, mm -hmm. you probably sound really good. The whole thing. Okay? But sometimes, you know, the lips are a little dry, or sometimes maybe um, we've grown mentally where we want to hear something different, mm -hmm. or maybe you think the person next to you plays better. Mm -hmm. They don't. Okay? <laughs> All right? All right? Mm -hmm. so Right, so you always look at that. So let's let's just do this breathing thing because I want to, when we work on this, I want, so think about playing on the ball of your foot, all right, because that's gonna make you more secure. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not saying, I saw my, a picture of myself on, somebody posted, and I'm wearing this beautiful gown and it's like this, you know? And I see my knee like this, and I thought, oh, it's not very attractive. <laughs> but I think it was, you know, I was in heels, and it was just a moment in the piece where I was leaning forward, but I wasn't swirling my flute. So what happens is I'm moving forward with this, but the flute is not moving from the body. So the flute doesn't move from here, and also this doesn't move. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go, back to this. So left foot, you're going to have to put on the ball of the foot because I'm pushing you forward here. So you're going to exhale. Real fast. All right, I gotta hear the exhale. Okay, now you're gonna inhale. Okay, without here. Oh, okay. I know, you see? Yeah. But it's a normal thing. Mm -hmm. It's a normal thing because we always breathe high. Yeah. So you want to think about only these fingers here, all right? Okay, okay exhale again. Now push my fingers out. No, no, these guys. Oh. Yeah, I know it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know it is. I, it's a whole different thing. Okay, I'm going to squeeze you. Watch. Okay, did you, eat, did you eat a big breakfast? No. Okay. So, are you going to faint on me? No. Okay, good. 
I had one student. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I tell you what, you do it with me. Okay. You watch me. Well, watch uh, me from the front. Okay. All right. Because I because I know this. Uh, I know this. I'm an accordion. But you see, my natural thing would be to do two things. My natural thing would be. Mm -hmm. You see, but I, and I have to concentrate. I still have to concentrate. <coughs> That's why I said open up the back of the throat. Mm -hmm. Can you just go? I think of going ho. Mm -hmm. Feeling it more? Yeah. It's cold air, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. And it, you can get really strong down here. Mm -hmm. And I bet if I pushed you in the pool, you would not breathe from here. Yeah. But you'd open that mouth and you'd breathe real uh -huh. deep, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay, so once more. Fast, exhale. Now inhale. She's got it. Mm -hmm. It's different, isn't it? You might get a little lightheaded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You're not going to fall over. No. Okay, good. That's what you're going to take mm -hmm. home with you, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to think about that breathing and you just... I really think if you put your hands back here and around here, you become like an accordion. Just get in touch with those muscles. Mm -hmm. You know, you're an athlete. You're training with the flute like you are for the Olympics. You work on it every day. You work on it slowly. You work on little exercises. That's what an athlete does. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We are athletes. And so we have to be, get in touch with these different parts of our body. And I'm not saying anything weird, you know. It's not like something comes from the, oh, God. I saw something on the Internet about somebody talking about getting high notes from up here. I mean, I, I still can't figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So let's try. Your flute's a little cold now. So when your flute's cold, kind of warm, warm up the body too, okay? Let's try it once more from the body, from here. Now what you are gonna take is your breath one more step further when you're home. You're gonna take the breath and you're gonna hold it and then play. Because then the embouchure is set. Because if we take a breath and then play, you know what happens? The embouchure isn't set. Mm -hmm. So we wanna get the flute up there with these three pressure points, the ball of the foot, See how I'm, and I always think of coming from behind in the music. Always coming from behind and sending the sound out here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now I think the A is the is is the most important, and I would like to hear you hug or caress that G sharp. Note. Okay. Because you're going to the F. Mm -hmm. a little bit softer. I know it says mental forte, but I would like you not to start so full. Mm -hmm. This is also somebody's arrangement that should be mezzo forte. Um, you've just played before a really big movement and very fast, and now you are charming your audience. This is a good piece to play in church or whatever you go to on Sunday morning, mm -hmm. or you don't go to anymore on Sunday morning, or if you play uh, for someone uh, for a very... I play at weddings a lot, you know, things like this. It's a very nice piece. So imagine that you're playing, uh, I just played at my nephew's wedding, mm -hmm. and they're just doing the, the thing of the rings mm -hmm. and everything, and of course we played in the wrong place, but never mind, because mm -hmm. the priest was supposed to give us a signal, and the priest started going like this, and they weren't even do. and so I'm looking at my nephews going like this, did they do the rings, and he's going, <laughs> and then he said after he didn't know what I was talking about <laughs> anyway but it didn't matter but because the, it's, a, it's a beautiful moment mm -hmm. I'm not going to pick up my flute and go da da dum ba da dum you know we pick it up going ya da dum ba da so what I say is get from behind so ooh can you make an ooh for me play that A natural and then go ooh <laughs> now keep the ooh And when you do that, I want you to think still about sending the airstream out. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's ah, that's ah, ah, me ooh, ooh. Pretend we're in Paris. Do you want to go to Paris? Yeah. Okay, so pretend we're in Paris. You go to Switzerland, you can go to Paris. Okay, it's only two and a half hours away. Okay, so, ooh. Think of French, think more French. You know the French, Ooh. Now play like that. But keep it ooh, keep it ooh, because you 
because you're touching the audience, okay? Mm. We're not stamping on them, we're touching mm -hmm. them. Okay. <laughs> that back we add a little bit more mm -hmm. but not too much only a little more on the color mm -hmm. so we might go we don't go to ah we go to ah or something but now you couldn't have gotten that ooh unless that throat was open mm -hmm. so you did it mm -hmm. you see so the first one is make sure you go to that e okay and then we go Then you go a little mm -hmm. bit more, okay? Mm -hmm. Try it like that with the colors. And when you get on the top, uh, open up oh, all these notes too. Make them very long like you did. You see, and when you get on that note too, you hold the note and then you move. Okay, each note is precious. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Thank you. I'll see you in six minutes.